Well, good morning. Welcome to another Memphis Monday. Uh, you remember about two years ago we built uh, a couple of uh, portable camping tables. And uh, today we're going to adapt that same uh, leg arrangement to a portable, a cedar portable grilling table. Uh, it's, it's actually uh, making, making a grilling table. I didn't ever thought of that, but it's such a good idea. I actually copied another, uh, a, a, a store bottle. Anyway, if you want to see how I build it, stand by, because that's what we're going to do today. So let's knock off the chatter and get to work. I'm over at my neighbor's house. I'll be quiet, because we're not going to. We're not going to build a prototype. We're going to steal it right off his porch. Well, here it is. Our, the hot, hot goods. It's nice and light. It's made out of uh, cedar. Let's... Uh, And that's how she sets up. Looks like the legs work just like the legs from my the picnic tables we made last uh, last year, if you remember that. They fold up and then they sit they sit against uh, stoppers here. Now we we put a board completely across here for this for this th thing to lean against, um, but I like this system a lot better. Um. Okay, here on the uh, prototype, looks like the guy who. Uh, made this. Here's his brand. It's Timberjacks uh, wood, wood Shop. It looks like he uh, countersunk two torque screws and looks like he also put a little bit of glue in there. So let's do all that. I tell you what, I'm essentially copying Timberjacks work here. Kind of feel bad about it, but on the other hand, I don't know how I'd make it any better. Next we're going to make the uh, legs. First we need to get the uh, bottom down here. Say 4.5, 4.5 centimeters. I just thought of another way to get that radius of that circle. Instead of measuring, all I could do is measure the diam, uh, the width of this board here, which is nine, which is which is uh, nine centimeters. I don't have to measure up here nine centimeters. Because I'm gonna to have to do this anyway, because I know I know that radius is gonna be twice the diameter, and I know the diameter is uh, in the middle of that circle right there. So all I could do is find the center of this circle, or the center of this square. Now, if I measure from the center of that square to this edge, it should be 4.5 centimeters. I 
and what do you know it is. Okay, now I can set my dividers at 4 points 4.5 centimeters. I tell you, I'm liking this cedar. We're going to have to do some more project with cedar. It smells good, too. What I'm doing here is cutting these legs off at a seven degree, a seven degree angle. Right here I killed two uh, stones with one bird um, because by, by making this stock here for the uh, leg a little bit longer, not only did I get the angle now at the uh, bottom of the leg, but I also got the automatically got an angle, a correct angle here uh, for this stop lock. So this stop lock here, I'll cut it to size and it'll go right in there. And now I can take the leg I just made and use it as a pattern to make all the other legs the same. Now the, the uh, danger of doing that, of course, is that if I made an error, I'm now propagating that error. But I don't think I made an error. The okay, next step is to install these blocks right here I was just talking about. It looks like they're uh, glued and screwed. Here I am putting the blocks in. I'm just countersinking these holes and then putting these torque screws in. I was going to make sure that Make sure that I put this thing in at the right angle. Okay, you can see on the prototype that the when the, the legs are installed, they're held up. They're held up from the uh, the top there, about an eighth of an inch, and lined up on this stop block, and then the hole is drilled right through there. So let's do that. Okay, you can see I got the same uh, same setup here. So let's. Uh, Drill that hole and see if the bolt fix fits. Okay, back over on the prototype, you can see it's got a, a small quarter inch carriage bolt uh, through the frame and through the uh, leg with a thumb screw attached there. So let's uh, see if we can do the same thing. Okay, there's a hole uh, comes out the outside of the frame. I'm going to be using a uh, quarter inch stainless steel uh, 20s. I got a stainless steel washer right there, uh, but the thumb screw is only uh, galvanized. They make uh, stainless steel thumb screws but I don't have any. Okay, let's check out how this uh, prototype works and then maybe that'll give us a hint on how to put these uh, leg braces in. Okay, uh, okay it looks like It looks like the inner the inner leg has to go down first. Let's look at these. Okay, it looks like I'll just be able to uh, uh, lay lay my uh, copy down and install these braces across here. Just measure across here, 
and put him and attach him with the thing closed up and then just open her up. Let's go try that. Okay, what I got to do here, I don't know if you can see these marks, but on the prototype over there, the cross brace there starts at, at four and three quarter inches. So I made a little mark right there. So now I just need to figure out how wide to make that thing. Let's make it uh, 14 and a quarter. Last screw, we'll be figuring out. We'll be figuring out if this thing's gonna work or not. Let's see if our version closes as good as the uh, prototype. This side goes down first. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's put some hardware on this thing. Here's the hardware I was talking about. I have these little hooks, the exact same things. I don't have a handle exactly like that, but I've got to go back to Lowe's to get some more uh, cedar for the top, and I'll get a handle like that when I'm over there. Yeah, they look identical to me. Let's go at this top. The top has 12 uh, boards across here. And looks like he uh, just put it in, uh, put the top on brads. I don't, I'll have to check and see if he used glue. Okay, I'll go to Lowe's and get some more of this, uh, some more of this cedar and we'll finish this project up. I'm going to hold the uh, <clears throat> the top on the uh, top boards the same way he did with uh, brads. Uh, these are 16 gauge stainless steel brads. Most brads are galvanized, uh, but I'm going to use stainless steel. I'm just assuming that's what he did. Right down there you can see a little uh, fairing strip I put along here. This is so when I install these boards I can line them up right on that piece of strapping and they'll be perfectly uh, perfectly aligned. Well, I found that uh, I found that handle is just like it's just like the one on the prototype, and I even found the screws that he used. These are half-inch self-tapping. The ones that come with it are too long.
Well, there's the prototype. And there's the, uh, the copy we made today. I guess if you're going to copy something, you might as well uh, try to make it ex as exact as possible. Board for board. Exact copy. Well, here we are back where we started. I um, think we got our money's worth today. Real, uh, real nice little uh, item here. You know, when you're when you're grilling and you got all the spatulas and uh, trays and all that stuff. Well, this thing is uh, is going to take care of all that. Made out of cedar, 100% cedar. Put it together with uh, coated deck screws and stainless steel brabs uh, across the top. And we've got hardware there for carrying it and everything else. Well, anyway, uh, tweet and comment and share and Facebook and all that business. But more important than all of that combined is make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for watching.